Here's how to take a drawing and make it into a 3D model, with no sculpting skills required. I got this idea from watching an Eric's Hobby Workshop video. For this example, I'm going to be making some masks for some forest goblins. Start with a drawing of your initial concept on paper first, or you can skip directly to Illustrator. Then, in Illustrator, redraw your concept art using shapes with no border. To convert the image into something you'll bring into Blender and allow it to become 3D, you need to make the drawing in Illustrator composed of shapes. So, when drawing your object, think in terms of geometric shapes. So you end up with a bunch of shapes that look like your initial concept, which can be raised or lowered in Blender and make it a 3D shape. For example, with these masks, each wooden panel is its own separate shape. The details would come later with sculpting or painting. I'm not doing anything too crazy here. I'm just using the pen tool, moving the layers around, and using these cut tools on the right. Once you have your drawings done, export them as an SVG. When in Blender, make sure you don't select SVG as grease pencil when you're importing. I was doing this for about half an hour with very poor results. You want to select Scalable Vector Graphics. The images from Illustrator will import and be extremely tiny. Scale them up so you can see what's going on. Also, select the entire image and set the origin to geometry. Then, select everything again and right click. Go to Convert, and then Convert to Mesh. Now you can select the different cutouts Go into edit mode, and make them thicker than oatmeal. From here, you can move, scale, or edit your new objects further. I can definitely see this being a great first step for blocking out objects. Then, if you want, you can go in and do the whole sculpting thing. I then exported the masks as STLs, brought in the model I'm planning on using, in this case, the Ambush Goblins from Printed Encounter, and then curved the masks using simple deform, bending on the z-axis. I set the goblin model as the axis of origin. In the future, I'd probably create a head-sized sphere and bend around that. You want the object you're bending around's origin to be as central as possible. A sphere would guarantee you know where the middle is. But with that said, you'd still need to play around with the size of the sphere and where the object you're curving is placed. The simple deform tool can be a little wonky. I exported the new masks and that was it. From drawing to 3D model without any real sculpting required. If you want to download these for your own projects, I've uploaded them on Thingiverse or Cults 3D for free. I think this method would work best for non-organic stuff like weapons, things to spice up a building, and vehicles. Although you can definitely edit the objects after you block everything out. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Comment down below with any feedback or suggestions. Alright, bye bye